along the way. Maybe when you take them shopping, for example, uh, you encourage them to maybe go around the store. And it depends on the age of the child here. So if the child is beginning at age seven, get them to maybe shop around for maybe better value. And so partly it's saving, partly to develop a relationship with money. And part of that will be very easy. A lot of adults now will use Talking Sense with Ollie, the money magazine, and that will highlight certain aspects of where money comes from, how to save better. And it's also to get the child to maybe develop a sense of patience when it comes to money, because often they may want to spend it all very, very quickly. So you're encouraging to develop good habits, a little bit of patience, and also maybe to shop a little bit smarter. So it's an all-encompassing process. Okay, so the next question is, I'm a student who commutes to Dublin from Carlow by car for college. Are there any concessions or schemes to help with travel costs that you can recommend? Yeah, difficult question. Not for car driving, not that I'm aware of. And I just talked to my nephew who also commutes uh, down the country we, uh, to and from college, and he's not aware of it. But the first thing I would say is driving by car at that age is going to be extremely expensive. The other side of it, I just looked, had looked at Bus Air and, and Irish Rail websites. Uh, they both serve Carlo, so it depends on what part of Carlo you're in. But you can certainly get a lot of discounts between 10 and 20 percent on the student uh, travel amounts. And then with student cards, there's a whole pile of different concessions out there. So it depends on where you're going to college, for example. I know a couple of years ago, I actually did a, uh, some studies in in one of the uh, third level institutions. I actually had a student card at the time and I used it all of the time. Um, so I would encourage perhaps maybe to look at the mode of transport to begin with and then beyond that using the student card but from a driving exp uh, uh, point of view it's going to be very expensive. Okay, so our 15 year old daughter wants an ATM card. I currently manage her saving account and she's making some uh, money from babysitting. Should I open a current account for her? Yeah, what I would say on the current account, just be very careful on that one. Yes, absolutely. What we're trying to do is get children to begin to become more aware of using debit cards. And this is where it's going. I talk to kids at age 10, for example, who will be aware of contactless cards. So I would have no difficulty opening it. And at 15, some banks will offer 14, uh, age 14 to open the card. There might be more that might start at age 16. What you have to be careful on current accounts, though, is on overdraft facilities. They can't get that. But then when it comes back to the card itself, have the conversation with the child in terms of how they're spending that money, because it can be very easy to maybe spend 10, 15, 20 euro up to 30 euro on a contactless card. So maybe have the conversation on an ongoing basis. This is a conversation that most parents would want to have with their children anyway. Okay, so how do I ensure my three children can inherit our estate when we pass away with the least amount of tax implications? Yeah, difficult question because if they're quite young at the moment, the first thing I would say to any parent is that they need to make sure that they've got a will, number one. Um, so the inheritance amounts right now have just moved from 320,000 for a child up to 335,000 of they're in the process of moving based on the last budget. First thing is have a will and on that will you need to be very careful in terms of who the beneficiaries are and to make sure the will is clearly witnessed so there's no issues down the line. And those are the biggest complications we come across where the what we call the estate is contested so provided that's done properly I think you should be fine but it's a long ways away if the children are quite young at this stage we've got a long way to go before that date comes to pass okay so the next question and um, the listener wants to know when is it okay to ask your adult children to pay some money up at home my son is earning around 200 euro a week and he's just spending it on himself he says his friends don't have to pay anything so why should he, he yeah, difficult question because it depends on the relationship between the, uh, the parents and the children. So in some families, for example, that conversation can happen very, very quickly. So the parents will may say to them, look, you make a contribution maybe towards some electricity. Keep it quite low. You're not charging the full rent. And so maybe it's 10 percent contribution. Typically, what we tend to look at is maybe people maybe saving roughly 20 percent of what's coming in. So I would say if they're spending all of the money, what you're trying to force them into is maybe developing a habit where they're not spending it all. Maybe you're putting the money into an electricity fund. Maybe you're saving that for them. But I think that conversation certainly needs to happen, that if you think that there's no savings happening. And if the child is maybe older, maybe they're late teens or maybe, maybe even early 20s in some cases, maybe they're going to college. It depends on the age of the child. But I think the parent has an obligation at some point to say, look, there's money coming in. You need to maybe pay a, play a role here and make a contribution in. But that's, again, a very adult conversation. But you can certainly have that from children from late teens onwards. Okay, and the last question that comes in is, my daughter is nine and I would like to start giving her a little bit of pocket money. We can't afford to do it, but we don't want to be spoiling her either. How do we decide on the amount? 
Yeah, really good question. So what I would go back to again is talking since with Ollie, the money, the money magazine we've developed for Bank of Ireland and one of the programs there is a free magazine. They can download the magazine and it's really about having that conversation with the child. So along the way, what you're looking to do is maybe to get them be more aware of where money comes from, become more aware in terms of savings habits and so forth. So it's really about starting the conversation. The challenge often for parents is they don't fully understand how to begin the conversation and why they want to do it. So you're really looking to maybe impart good behaviour with the child and very often the children are often very willing to listen as well and maybe uh, take up the advice of the parent and where they don't that may be a different issue but generally the vast majority of cases is how you start the conversation talking sense goes through all of that in a very simple basis and it begins for children age seven right up to the age of 12. Mm -hmm. Just thank, you. That's fine. Okay. thank you very much